coronavirus outbreak has been having a major impact on nursing homes and now community leaders are making a renewed push to try and stop the spread at those facilities. Fox 5's Liberty Zabala joins us live from Paradise Hills with their plan. Liberty. Well, Phil, we are here outside the Rio Vista Health Center, which appears to have one of the largest outbreaks of coronavirus at a nursing home in the state. And now community members are demanding more action be taken to protect nurses and patients. Ambulance workers suit up before heading into Rio Vista Nursing Center in Paradise Hills. This facility has seen one of the largest outbreaks of coronavirus among senior citizens in the state. The fact that we have over 100 um, uh, positive uh, cases here, we need to do better. The Rio Vista released a statement saying in part, quote, currently 112 residents of Rio Vista Healthcare Center and 40 staff members have tested positive for COVID-19. 14 residents did pass away, five of them in area hospitals. Our thoughts and prayers go out to the family and loved ones. It is heartbreaking to know that again, that there are many fatalities and it just feels like we need more attention on this. Joanne Fields with the Filipino COVID-19 Task Force says this is especially concerning because Filipino Americans are disproportionately affected by the pandemic. She says they account for 20% of frontline health care workers and more than half of the nursing staff at Rio Vista. However, when it comes to training, Skilled nursing facilities do not have the same training or access to PPE as in a hospital. So her group is pushing the state for more Tagalog speaking contact tracers, disaggregated data and improved training and testing for the Filipino community. Without a state mandate for testing or education in language, it, it's hard to um, slow the slow down this pandemic. And county public health officials say they currently have eight Tagalog speaking contact tracers. Meanwhile, Rio Vista says it did conduct five testing intervals for staff and patients here since May. For now